Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Cinetales TV and today we're going to talk about how to have a successful showing. In case your realtor didn't tell you that, I'm going to give you the inside scoop. So number one, be flexible. What does that mean? Now I know we all have schedules, I know we all have to work and we all have things that we have to do, but the, the more flexible that you can be, the more people are going to get to walk through your home and the faster your house is going to sell. So remember that buyers are out shopping when they don't work. So having the house during the day open and ready to go when you leave to go to work in the morning and having it ready for those people that can come during the day, but also in the evening, you will see some showings, but just be flexible on that if you can. Um, make sure that when you show that the home is open and there's light flowing through, that the curtains are open, that the shades are open. So if you know you're gonna have showings that, that day before you leave for work, get that house open. Turn on the lights. Don't worry about the fact that the lights are on. You can always give instructions for those agents to turn the lights on when, off when they leave. And make sure that the light bulbs, you've got the, I hate to say it, but the incandescent light bulbs have better light than the, the energy saving bulbs. I hate it when I go into a house and I walk into the room and the light doesn't come on for like three minutes while we're in there. It, it looks dark and it doesn't show very well. It doesn't show the real good qualities of your home. It needs to smell good. Now, what does smell good? People will come into a home and it's all, uh, it, felt, it smells very flowery. In the fall, you'll do a cinnamon scent. Uh, those aren't necessarily great. Uh, when they surveyed people to find out what they liked in smells, they liked the smell of clean. They like it to smell clean, not like the dog was laying around or that, you know, dirty tennis shoes were laying in front of the, the door, those type of things. So be very cognizant of, of that. You can have some light scents going on, but some people all are allergic to those things. And candle, don't leave candles burning when you leave for, for work. Please don't do that. That's how fires start. Okay. Uh, number uh, four, make sure that your animals are pinned up or put away. Um, sometimes cats can be, they'll run under the bed and you'll never know that they're there, but the people are allergic to animals. So um, I've been greeted before by barking dogs and it may have been a friendly barking dog, but I didn't know that. So it scared me, a big dog. When I came to the door, pin the dog up, take the dog to doggy daycare, but just make sure that the that pets are put away. Cause again, buyers can be afraid. There can be little kids. There's just all kinds of things, dangerous things that can happen with having a dog or, or even a cat that's crazy running loose in your house. Um, number five is less is more. And, and what that means is that your house should look clean, absolutely clean and decluttered. So the less you have sitting around, the better your home is gonna show. People come in not to look at your decor, they come in to look at the features of the home. The wall colors, the flooring, uh, the countertops, all those things are what they're looking at because that's what they're buying. They're not buying your beautiful chairs and all the stuff that you have sitting on the table, right? Which is nice to have it staged, you absolutely wanna do that, but don't have lots of stuff. Take down your personal pictures. Uh, don't get I get caught up sometimes when I'm in a house and I'm like oh I know that person you don't want them to do that you want them to visualize themselves living in in your house and then don't forget about the garage because a lot of people cram everything into the garage and it looks terrible and it may be a large garage but it looks like it's small you can have a lot of things in the garage but make sure that they're either put up on shelves that it's very organized out there and clean not having the smell of a uh, of, rotten grass on your mower. Uh, the last one is curb appeal, which was really should be the first one, but curb appeal is so important to your showing. Make sure that the landscaping out front is cleaned up and neat. Um, make sure that, the, that your door is freshly painted. Um, door handles, it, it's just, it gives a, a, an air of, I care about my home when you've got a really nice new door handle on the front and it looks like um, they're ready to welcome you into this home to buy this home. So if you have any other questions about getting your home ready to show or how to successfully show your home, please reach out to me on uh, my cell phone at 816-365-9807 or visit us on the website at sendacells.com. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.